Hey guys, what's going on? Wanted to talk a little bit of UFC, uh, particularly the welterweight championship, uh, the welterweight division picture right now. Um, just I'm weirded out. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of uh, moving parts going on in that division, but it's just um, I'm a little confused. What's going on with the matchmaking in UFC? It's kind of whack right now, kind of uh, backwards, kind of like in reverse. I call it, it you know, they're going with uh, WWE type of uh, matchmaking as of late. Um, you know, they, they uh, it's like a popularity contest. It's like I see Usman, uh, he's a great champion, amazing, amazing champion. He's fighting, he, you know, the way he fights, the, the way he performs, he's an awesome champion. But uh, I was curious why he chose to rematch uh, Masvidal, because he had beat Masvidal already. And, uh, you know, I guess his reasoning was Masvidal kept talking that uh, he didn't have enough time. Uh, oh, he did enough enough time as, as a, you know as far as a fight camp and he took the fight in short notice so he wanted to shut Masvidal up and you know uh, at, at the end of the day I accepted it uh, the fight was great because he winded up, he he did uh, shut down uh, Masvidal really good you know knocked him out in in a highlight fashion. And it was pretty pretty awesome you know to see that said um, the title picture right now he's gonna rematch Colby it doesn't look like he wants to face Colby uh, it looks like that's what UFC wants it looks like that's what Dana White wants I don't think Usman wants it not because he's afraid of course not 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 out of fear he just I don't think he likes Colby enough to grant him a title fight at this time and uh, as he says he claims and it's, it's actually pretty true Kobe has been sitting out mostly you know not he beat a Tyron Woodley that's the only victory he has since he fought um, Usman and lost in that great title fight that they had between the two so as of now the picture is um, Colby Covington is the one that is going to fight Usman next in a rematch. And I think that's what UFC is pushing for. That's what uh, Dana White wants. But um, let me talk contenders. In my opinion, contenders, the number one contender, if we set Colby aside, would be Leon Edwards. And... Um, Leon Edwards, um, Nate Diaz did one thing right, which I really liked and I admire about Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz was the only one that gave, call, he called out uh, Leon Edwards. He gave Leon Edwards a shot fighting. A shot in the sense, well, you know, uh, Nate Diaz is a big name, he's a draw. And he, you know, Nate Diaz could very well choose to fight someone easier. Uh, he chose the number one or number two contender basically in Leon Edwards for that title fight and that was commendable. Uh, that said, the fight, um, Leon Edwards dominated from top to bottom, from the first belt to the last belt, he dominated uh, Nate Diaz. He beat him up for five rounds. He out wrestled him, he out struck him, uh, he was killing him with the leg kicks. He um, he busted him up on the ground. He uh, wrestled him, like I said. It was pure domination. He was leg kicking him, tripping him. Nate Diaz was falling on his butt, falling on his ass. Uh, it, it was it was just you know pure domination. Uh, Nate Diaz, being the popular guy that he is. You know towards the end of the round he had like a, a good moment he had one good moment in that fight 
and that was like for 30 seconds he caught he caught Leon with a straight shot and Leon was wobble for a bit in that moment and uh, the crowd went crazy the crowd went crazy because you know I admire the Diaz brothers I have always loved the way they fight they're they're all got some they're all guts in there you know they 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 fight man they come to fight they're, they're never in a boring fight that said you know you gotta understand that Nate Diaz just you know he got dominated and a lot of people are like putting that aside and I'm talking about pundits of the MMA sport I'm talking about people like Hawani and DC and Josh Thompson and all these people that you know I'm not sure why they do it I'm not sure if because of the clicks or because of you know like a popularity contest DC was literally laughing about that little moment where Leon Edwards got caught Leon Edwards yeah I admit it he got caught but it was one moment and it lasted 30 seconds and Leon Edwards quickly recovered he you know he he was smart enough to to you know get his wits under him again and just Nate Diaz did not capitalize on that little moment after the fight people are holding on the fans are holding on to those 30 seconds and, and talking about you know Leon Edwards look bad and Leon Edwards doesn't deserve that title fight because he you know because of that moment and because he didn't finish uh, Nate Diaz who's the last guy that fin finished uh, Nate Diaz nobody has finished Nate Diaz he was finished once years ago by by uh, by uh, Josh Thompson I believe with a kick and that was a long a long time ago the, the Diaz brothers are not easy to put away so let's not single out um, Leon Edwards because he couldn't put uh, Nate Diaz out so now you know we're talking about the, the uh, uh, you know they're mentioning the, the title picture who deserves uh, if Covington fights uh, Usman who deserves the, the, the title fight and I hear people like uh, Josh Thompson saying oh no um, it will probably be uh, the winner of uh, Burns versus uh, Wonder Boy or you know um, or someone else not Leon Edwards he says because uh, Leon Edwards the last thing the fans remember is him getting no I remember him getting wobbled that way for 30 seconds uh, what I remember was him completely completely dominating Nate Diaz that's what I remember and he had one bad moment and he recovered and he wasn't put away that that you know you gotta give credit to a fighter when he does that when he comes back and, and he deals with adversity really well so that's that's my point of view you know as far as Burns Burns got a title shot not too long ago and he lost against Masvidal um, Wonder Boy it's been a while but he 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 had two title shots he got two title shots and um, both title shots he lost against uh, Woodley you know so both Burns and both uh, Wonder Boy they had title shots already uh, then he mentioned Masvidal Masvidal got two title shots and he lost Covington is going to get another title shot right now. You know, win or lose, whoever gets the next title shot, it should be Leon Edwards. I mean, that's the merit of, of the sport. It should be you keep winning. You're on a winning streak. You know, eventually get your title shot. Give that guy a shot. And Usman's on Twitter are teasing giving uh, Nate Diaz a, a title shot it's ridiculous it's like a popularity contest are you kidding me you're the champion you're so dominant and you're calling out a guy that just got completely 
uh, annihilated in, 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 the, in his last fight by another, uh, by a true welterweight contender like, like Leon Edwards. You gotta get credit where credit is due, man. I mean, that's the way I see it. So the welterweight championship right now is, is a little wobbly, it's a little crazy, there's you know, crazy scenes going on. I'm not sure, you know, why this is going on, but uh, I'm just I'm just amazed at the pundits, uh, uh, you know. They, they, they want, you know, it's like a lot, I've seen terms like the entertainment era and, you know, and this and that, or you don't talk too much if you're not popular on Twitter. At the end of the day, what matters is what you do in that ring. And I think that uh, Leon Edwards is, you know, deserves more recognition, more respect from all these pundits, from Hawani, from DC, from uh, people like Sonin, and, and all these guys who keep talking and keep praising uh, Nate Diaz because Nate Diaz was tough enough to to put up with a beating for five rounds. Basically, that's what he's popular for right now. The irony is that Nate Diaz is the one that gave Leon Edwards the most respect by granting him, uh, uh, you know, a spotlight fight, a good fight where, you know, both of them, where he would give Leon Edwards a good spotlight to be on. So those are my, that's my points of view on, on the welterweight division. I'm looking forward to see, I don't know, uh, so far I haven't heard anything that has been signed. It looks like Usman. It doesn't sound like he's looking forward facing to facing a Colby again. Not because he's afraid, but because he just doesn't like the guy, you know? Uh, so it's, it's, it's crazy. It's a popularity thing. It's like, who's more famous? It's like, uh, you know, paying off of your name, of, of what you did in the past, and not what you're doing in the present. And I think that contenders that keep winning should get their shot man i mean it's a sport at the end of the day you know mma is a sport there's a championship belt you're competing to be a champion and if winning is not enough then you know what are we doing then you know because there's been plenty of of, of other fighters that are getting shots out of uh not merit but out of popularity so that's my that's my point of view on this. Thanks, guys, for listening. And uh, give me questions, comments, anything you like. Uh, likes, dislikes. And please uh, subscribe to my channel so I can keep talking MMA. I love MMA. I love the sport. So I like to talk about it now and then. Thank you. Peace.